This time, it's all about Scream from the next room. Are you ready to face the fear? This may veer a bit off course, but let me tell you about the most impactful story I've ever heard. It's a story I heard from a friend of mine, about something that happened in a company's dormitory for unmarried employees. The place always had an eerie atmosphere, and my friend would say that the bathroom gave off an unpleasant vibe. Apparently, it was a hot spot for typical supernatural phenomena. People experiencing sleep paralysis, waking up in the middle of the night to see a blood-covered woman peering at them. Or someone staying there for a business trip waking up terrified and opting to pay out of pocket to stay at a hotel for the rest of their visit. Then, one morning, it happened. In the middle of the second floor of the dormitory, as a friend's acquaintance, Mr. A, was getting ready for the day. A scream came from the room at the far right end, followed by another scream from the next room over. Yes, the screams were getting closer. As Mr. A wondered what was going on, a man phased through the wall on the right side of the room, sprinted across, and was absorbed by the left wall. Instinctively, Mr. A screamed. Immediately after, a scream came from the left neighboring room, and the screams continued toward the back left of the building. Afterwards, everyone rushed out into the hallway, asking each other, did you just see that? I couldn't help but laugh when I heard this story. There's no epilogue, no moral, no punchline to this tale, but the dormitory was eventually demolished due to aging. This story was quite unique, wasn't it? It makes you think about what you'd want to do if you became a ghost. If I ever become a ghost, I'll make sure to appear before everyone, so look forward to that. Until next time.